In this lesson on the new nation, we learn once again just how important the themes of resilience and strength are to Boston's story. Boston bounces back after the end of the Revolutionary War, taking advantage of stable government and an excellent port to become a powerhouse among American cities. Trade with Asia and the manufacture of textiles saves Boston from decline. These industries bring capital into Boston and fund the construction of new houses, businesses, hospitals, museums, municipal buildings, and more. Boston grows in size and sophistication during this period. Publishers and writers like Elizabeth Palmer Peabody and Ralph Waldo Emerson challenge readers with new and exciting ideas. In addition, people attend theaters, which have just been declared legal by city officials. Clearly, Boston is becoming an important cultural and economic center. Boston is both building infrastructure and supporting the exploration of new ideas as it moves boldly into the 19th century. Next, we will learn about these ideas and how they lead to the Civil War. Fueled by immigration, Boston's population explodes during this period. Come with me and learn how these immigrants clash and further transform this great city.